What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new film that is releasing on Apple TV Plus this weekend, and that movie is called Finch. Directed by Miguel Sapunjnik, and it stars Tom Hanks, and it's a new Apple TV Plus film, second of Tom Hanks on the streaming service. The first one was Greyhound. Before I get started with my review, I do want to thank Apple TV Plus for providing me an early screener to check this film out a little early. This movie does drop on the streaming service this Friday, November 5th. On a post-apocalyptic Earth, a robot built to protect the life of his creator's beloved dog learns about life, love, friendship, and what it means to be human. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I knew nothing about this movie going in. Just, I looked up the new releases coming out in November and saw this movie was coming out on Apple TV+, Plus and it stars Tom Hanks. And I'm a big Tom Hanks fan, as you guys know. This man is my childhood. Any movie Tom Hanks does, I'm always going to watch no matter what. And this is his second Apple TV Plus exclusive film. He did Greyhound last year, which I wasn't a big fan of. And going into Finch, this movie pretty much is about robots with dogs and a human. Now, the director of this movie is a recognizable name. His name is Miguel Sapunjnik. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this guy directed the most iconic episodes of Game of Thrones. He brought us the Battle of the Bastards episode, Winds of Winter, The Long Night in Season 8, and The Bells in Season 8. So what did I think of Finch? Is this a solid little dramatic post-apocalyptic film? Or is this a forgettable one that you shouldn't check out? I would say it's a pretty sweet movie. It was a lot more interesting and better than I was expecting it, for sure. Finch was surprisingly emotional, realistic, and human. So if you're a big fan of those three concepts right there, I think you're going to really enjoy this movie. Tom Hanks always gives great performances no matter what he's in, and he's really good in here as this guy that has created this new robot and pretty much is mentoring him, taking him under his wing so that he can take on a protection role for him and his dog in the movie. And I thought Hanks was really great in here. His relationship with this dog was so realistic. I can totally relate to that, being a dog owner. And the relationship with the robot as well. The robot by far was the most interesting character. This movie totally reminded me of Chappie mixed with Wall-E. Just, just these robotic characters that pretty much take control of the film and this robot in here pretty much is the lead character i would say over tom hanks and caleb landry jones does the voice of this robot he's been showing up in a lot of independent films over the past few years and i thought he did a good job as the voice the post-apocalyptic setting is totally realistic as well it totally feels like an i am legend mixed with wall-e sort of world and Wally was pretty much what I thought of watching this movie with this world and these characters. It's all about building trust, becoming a better version of yourself, learning new things, learning humanity. Those are all things that you can totally relate to watching the film. If you were an emotional person, I think you might want to grab a box of tissues, especially in many scenes in this movie. And it's just a really good story around. And it's just wholesome it kind of surprised me i didn't expect that going into the film now as far as issues with the film i would say the pacing is very slow for this film it takes a while for it to start getting going and the story to get compelling and interesting i think once we go on the adventure with our lead characters and our robot character learning everything and just learning the lessons from Tom Hanks' character. I think that's when the story started to hit for me. It just wasn't hitting for me in the first 40 minutes, so the pacing could have been much better. And it felt a little emotionally hollow in terms of a story. It's pretty much a story that is not original, but I think the emotional core won me over at the end. It just feels very bland for a type of post-apocalyptic story. It could have been something better. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Finch, if this is your guys' first time checking out the channel and you enjoyed this review, definitely hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. 
and consider clicking that subscribe button for weekly reviews, ranking videos, and live Q&As every so often. I talk movies all the time here and you're not going to want to miss what's coming up. Finch was actually a surprisingly emotionally sweet film. It's another post-apocalyptic film with a robot pretty much learning humanity. If you love Tom Hanks, definitely check it out on Apple TV+. Plus. And if you like post-apocalyptic films, I think this one could be up your alley. So with all those things being said, I'm going to give the movie Finch a B-. Okay guys, that was my thoughts on the new Apple TV Plus film Finch. Thank you to Apple TV for the early screener so I can review this early. If you guys have seen Finch, let me know your thoughts and opinions below and if you are going to check this out this weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Look forward to more reviews coming this weekend. You guys are all the best. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!